Hey, Candice here. So I received an interesting question from one of my clients the other day, and I thought I would share a bit of our discussion, a glimpse into our discussion. It might be valuable to you too. So this individual asked me if seeking outside help, you know, from a doctor or a practitioner, uh, regardless of the approach, you know, be it conventional medicine, functional medicine, naturopathic medicine, or other holistic or alternative practitioners, um, just the fact, you know, seeking out that help from this external source implied a lack of faith or implied that this individual didn't have enough faith. So I often talk about spirituality and the spiritual path when working with clients, especially those clients who I'm working in a container, you know, where we go deeper and it's over a longer period of time because I believe that that is an important aspect to our health. It's essential. It's it's necessary work in order for true true healing to take place. So does seeking outside help imply that one's faith is not strong enough? Should someone fight illness, so to speak, without using medical help? My answer to this individual was no. Turning to a doctor or other practitioner does not show a lack of faith. The way that I see it is that doctors, practitioners, healers may be acting as God's instruments. Right, God may very well be working through them. That support could very well be part of spiritual healing. So where a doctor can help, like truly help, I believe it's wise to accept that help. So I have my own support team that I value greatly, uh, made up of different mentors and practitioners, and I absolutely see them as doing God's work. I absolutely see them as angels on earth in a sense and seeking their help in my opinion in no way implies that my faith is less than or not strong enough in some way relying solely on spiritual healing I think especially when you're on you know the earlier part of your spiritual path you're still learning you're still practicing may not be the fact the most effective approach I don't think it's a, a wise thing to do Illness can have various causes. They may be physical, such as toxins. They may be emotional, such as trauma, or even spiritual, such as not honoring one's soul's calling, like we talk a lot about on this channel. Sometimes they can be symptoms of deeper issues, absolutely, absolutely, that need to be addressed at the level of the soul or the psyche for sure. By seeking the right medical help, and I'm not going to debate in this video, conventional medicine versus functional versus foundational versus naturopathic or otherwise. And, you know, I talk about that in other videos on this channel, but by seeking the right medical help, you're typically addressing the root causes at a physical level. Okay. Now, what I propose is that at the same time, or shortly thereafter, if you're in a place where you need to get to a more stable state or need to feel more uh, strong in order to do that deeper work, at the same time or shortly thereafter, you can work on understanding and underlying, uh, understanding and identifying the underlying spiritual root causes as well. So you do that at the same time, right? You adjust the physical, the emotional, and the spiritual. This combined approach allows you to heal both externally and internally, outer world and inner world. And that's the approach that I take with people that I'm working with, you know, in that client relationship. Um, in my experience, there usually are both physical and emotional and spiritual or metaphysical root causes. You can debate uh, which came first. I think if you really take a thorough health history and look back at an individual's timeline, more often than not, the metaphysical root cause, i.e. the spiritual root cause, probably came first. It probably is the one that is most upstream, so to speak. 
But the fact remains that all root causes still need to be addressed. So I think it's important not to focus too intensely, like not to obsess about one method of healing over another, you know, to the exclusion of others. It's possible that all roads lead to Rome, as the saying goes, when it comes to healing, like certain modalities may very well resonate with you more than others. And so, you know, the path that you take on your healing journey probably is going to look differently than the next person. And that is totally okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that one modality is better than the other um, or vice versa. So being open to multiple avenues of help, I believe demonstrates a balanced and healthy will to overcome illness and sickness. Ultimately, what is most important is finding and addressing the root cause, be it physical, emotional, spiritual, or otherwise. Identifying and addressing the root cause is the key to healing. So that comes first. That needs to be the priority. Can you do that alone? You know, identify and address the root cause. Maybe. Is that the wisest way to approach um, doing that? I would argue no. You know, I, I would encourage one to say or to ask oneself, is seeking out help and support in highest service to you? Is seeking out help and support going to help you take a quantum leap on your healing journey? Maybe get you there more efficiently, faster. Is seeking out help and support going to help you uncover your blind spots, those things that you may not be able to see yourself, at least currently where you're at right now? So if the help is true and genuine, if it's in service to your higher self, guiding you towards identifying and addressing those root causes, could that help perhaps be divinely guided? And if that's the case, if that's true, how could that ever be in opposition to one's faith? Anyway, that was my response, a glimpse into Uh, what I thought was kind of an interesting discussion. I'd love to hear your thoughts at this point. So let me know in the comments, how would you have answered that same question from this individual? Is seeking out help from a doctor or practitioner in contradiction to one's faith? Does it imply in in any way that one's faith is less than or not strong enough? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks.